Charleston has the beaches. Greenville has Falls Park on Reedy. Fort Mill and Charlotte area has Carowinds. But what is there to do in the Midlands of South Carolina? Columbia, Lexington, and Lake Murray area. That's right, we are back for part three of things to do in Columbia, South Carolina. I hope you caught my other episodes where we dove into places like the Firefly Stadium, the zoo, walking trails, Lake Murray, the river, and so much more. And in this installment, we're gonna dive into more things to do right here in the Midlands of South Carolina. And for my adults, stick around to the end because we're gonna dive into local breweries as well as different places to go out for live music. Now, of course, this is just a drop in the bucket of all the things you get to do right here in the Midlands of South Carolina. There's so many things from Lexington to Columbia and everywhere in between. Make sure to subscribe so that you can learn more about the Midlands of South Carolina. But as someone with kids, let me dive into some of the things that we love to do with the kids. And hey, some of these are good for just the adults as well. So first we get started with Flight Trampoline Park. There are tons of trampoline parks in the area. However, the reason we love Flight Trampoline Park, which is in the Irmo area, is because it not only does include the trampoline park, but it also includes an ice skating rink, and then right in there in the middle, the arcade. So that way you can have a full day of events. They have packages that include both the trampoline park and the ice skating rink. So that is why we love Flight Trampoline Park. Next. We dive, or I should say drive, into the Big Mo. The Big Mo is a drive-in movie theater. That's right, we still have a drive-in movie theater. It's going to be in Moneta, which is just outside of the Batesburg, Leesville area, about 45 minutes from downtown Columbia, a lot less from the Lexington west side of town. I often get asked, what do kids do? One of the biggest things they do here is play sports. Sports is really big here in this area from youth all the way up through high school. And I know our kids have already gotten involved in youth sports. Now, before we dive in to the breweries and the music venues, let's talk about Edora Farms. This one's my favorite for both kids and adults. Dora Farms is a drive-through safari park as well as a petting zoo. So essentially load up the car. It is pay per vehicle based on how many occupants you have in that vehicle and you get to drive through a safari park and get to see tons of animals that come right up to your car. I caution you from the emus, I warned you. But either way, you get to purchase food that you can feed the animals with and basically get these animals that walk right up to your vehicle, you can touch, you can say hello to, or you can run and jump and hide on the other side of the car when they come. So I know our kids got a little frightened by some of them. And at the very end, you get to stop and walk out and they do a petting zoo. When we were there, they had pig races. You can feed the giraffe. You can take pony rides. So much and such a cool place to check out. Now again, this one's gonna be in Sally, South Carolina, about 30 minutes out of Lexington, a little less than an hour out of downtown Columbia, but worth the drive to check out Edora Farms drive through Safari Park. Now let's dive into the breweries and the music venues. So we haven't explored all the breweries, so please don't come out here and get mad at me because I missed one of the breweries, but I'm gonna talk about the ones that we have explored ourselves. Get started with Hazelwood in downtown Lexington. Much smaller when it comes to the breweries we have in the area, but definitely worth checking out. Columbia Craft in downtown Columbia. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger than Hazelwood, but not as big as some of the other ones we're gonna dive into. Iron Hill Brewery. This is one I've talked about a lot recently. Now, they're not a local brewer, but they are still a smaller brewery. And they recently built Iron Hill Brewery right in Segar Park, making it convenient to Firefly's game. That's why I love it, because I know pre-game, we've gone, had dinner down there, beers, and then been able to walk right over to a Firefly game, which is awesome for that location. And before we dive into the bigger ones, I almost forgot about Hunter Gather claiming to be Columbia's oldest brewery. And yes, it is in an old hangar out at the Jim Hamilton LP Owens Field Airport. Next, we roll into Savage Craft. This is going to be in West Columbia. Again, this is one of the ones that it's stepping up in venue size as they do have an outdoor space where they have music and different things like that. Now, before we roll into our favorite 
brewery when it comes to the venue itself. I do wanna say, if you are a beer lover, you need to check out Crafty Draft in Lexington. It blew me away when I walked in the bar that just lines with bar taps. Menus of so many different types of beers from different areas and regions, and of course the local ones. Well, definitely worth checking out Crafty Draft. And don't miss Thursday night, taco night. Lastly, our favorite brewery in the area is gonna be Steel Hands Brewery. This is gonna be found in the Casey area. Steel Hands Brewery is an awesome venue with awesome beers. We absolutely love their coffee lager beer made locally with local Loveland coffee in it. That's right, it's not just your flavored coffee beer that you typically get. This one actually has a little caffeine kick in it. So don't drink too many if you're sensitive to caffeine. But the venue itself is awesome, the outdoor place. Tons of music going on there, as well as they have cornhole. I know that we've done company parties right here at Steel Hands because of the awesomeness of the outdoor venue. Now let's roll into some of the music venues. First we get started with the Senate. This one is specifically a music venue. I know we've gone and seen some shows at the Senate ourselves. When it comes to bigger venues, we talk about the Colonial Life Arena. This is where you're gonna find some of your larger concerts. Now, of course, in one of my other videos, I talked about how they're trying to expand William Bryce Stadium to hopefully bring some of those venues as well to Williams Bryce being much bigger than the Colonial Life Arena. For now, you can always catch a concert and shows, comedy shows, and so much more right there at the Colonial Life Arena. Tin Roof was one of the first places we were introduced to when we moved to the Midlands of South Carolina. I've since learned and been to other tin roofs across the country. However, I can still say this is an awesome spot when it comes to good food, drinks, music, bands, outdoor seating, you name it. Tin Roof is always a blast. Welcome to Skyline in West Columbia. It's located off of Lee Street, right around the corner from the Columbia Metro Airport. Skyline actually has a lot to offer. Concerts line dancing, midget wrestling, events, and even throwback hip hop artists like Chingy have performed here. Yeah, you heard me right, Chingy. Again, with great food, great drinks, and great times here at Skyline Club. Welcome to Carolina Western Pub, better known as CWP, right here in downtown Columbia on the corner of Park and Lady Street. Whether you're looking for concerts, line dancing, or even line dancing lessons, this is the spot. That's right, Thursdays, they're hosting free line dancing lessons. We had a couple line dancing places back in California that we frequent, but I have never seen such a large group of people that knew what they were doing on the dance floor. Right, this place was packed with both young college kids as well as adults getting in there, getting their line dancing on. To browse local inventory here in the Midlands of South Carolina without being forced to register, head over to my website, brandinggarin.com. Otherwise, watch this video here to learn more about the Midlands of South Carolina and don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a video.